put on people's so here I have a motor that uh, came in for uh, overheating and as you can see this is the metal iron we have one collapsed two collapsed and three collapsed I think the other side is two and we have this side so we're gonna go in and uh, weld in some uh, supporting walls so that uh, this motor can go back together so the key is when welding these back up is to try to keep the the welds away from the uh, seal area so that way you're just building a wall adding support to the backside and then uh, filing it down to, uh, to size and then uh, hopefully we can uh, get these back in the motor and get the motor back out to the customer so uh, let me clean these up and uh, we'll take a look at it all right so as you can see I knocked down the uh, areas where I'm gonna put my welds at we got a nice surface clean on the back end to support the, uh, the walls and we're gonna start putting some beads on it. Right, so here are the welds. Then we're gonna take it down to the mill, mill these flat, and then uh, shape them up. And we will end up with a nice uh, coolant wall that will withstand the, uh, the lifespan of the engine or more. I've done these uh, quite a lot in the past. I have yet to see one come back because they failed. So, all right, let's hop on to the next stage. All right, so now we're on the rear plate. As you can see here, this one needs to be reinforced. It's not fully collapsed, but it ain't gonna take much. And then, there we go here. So we're gonna clean it up. And we're gonna add some welds. We're gonna do this one too. Okay. All right, so it's, it's all welded up. We're gonna go in and clean it up. This side was pretty bad. So the filler rod is nickel. I don't recall exactly what the uh, percentage is, but I think there's some copper in there too. So I'll take this to the middle, flatten these out, take a file, profile them, grind them down, get some nice uh, surfaces, and uh, get this ready to go in the engine. Okay, so these are welded, profiled, and pretty much finished. And you can see uh, the walls have been reinforced, thickened up, and uh, the rear plate along with the center can now go back uh, in the engine to be assembled <clears throat> so I've been I've done this service probably for about 15 years on and off I would say I would fix a couple every year and I usually fix them when the plates come in for uh, reconditioning especially once they are uh, blasted and all the uh, debris comes off of them any rust gets removed and you can really see the detail of any type of wall uh, retaining wall on the coolant seal collapsing now because these plates were not uh, reconditioned uh, it's kind of hard to see how much actual wall is left over if you do not remove the rust and the uh, the calcium buildup from the coolant so unfortunately this engine uh, had uh, overheating issues because of cool and collapse walls on the uh, center plate so we went ahead and fixed those but also reinforced the rear because uh, they were very thin and uh, rather than chancing it we will uh, make sure it doesn't fail so I would say in the last 15 17 years that I've been doing this I have yet to see one come back because a wall that I fixed uh, collapsed over time. 
So I've never seen one come back from doing this service in the uh, 15, 17 years that I've been doing it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, so the next video of some off the uh, off the beaten path service that uh, might come up. I'll take a uh, video of the process of me fixing and uh, repairing what that might be. Till next time, peace out. Thanks.